नाउ लेट एस डिस्कस अबाउट कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ रेग्युलर ग्रामर फ्रॉम द फाइनेट ऑटोमेटा सो दैट मीन्स ए फाइनेट ऑटोमेटा विल बी गिवेन सो फॉर द करस्पॉन्डिंग फाइनेट ऑटोमेटा वी हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द रेग्युलर ग्रामर सो फाइनेट ऑटोमेटा इज द इनपुट एंड रेग्युलर ग्रामर इज द आउटपुट और वी कैन कॉल दिस एज कन्वर्ट फाइनेट ऑटोमेटा टू रेग्युलर ग्रामर सो फर्स्ट लेट सी द प्रोसीजर एंड देन वी विल सी एन एग्जाम्पल here the procedure is also very very important in the examination the question may be given on explain the procedure to convert finite automata to regular grammar okay so here what is the input finite automata is the input so let m equal to q comma sigma comma delta comma q not comma f be a finite automata so we know that finite automata mainly contains phi tuples so first one is q q represents A finite set of states. Sigma means input alphabet. Delta is a transition function. Q naught is initial state, and capital F is final state. So now we have to construct the equivalent regular grammar. The equivalent regular grammar is we know that grammar mainly contains four tuples. So G equal to V comma T comma P comma S, where V represents set of variables. or can also be called as non terminals represented by upper case letters so t means terminal symbols terminals next one is p means production rules s means start symbol so here the variables v corresponds to states q of the finite automata so here the variables are nothing but the states of the finite automata whereas second second one is terminals terminals are nothing but input alphabet symbols of the finite automata so we can write as terminals t corresponds to input alphabet sigma of the finite automata next p we will discuss that later next one is s so s means start symbol start symbol is nothing but initial state of the finite automata so we can write as start symbol s corresponds to the initial state q not of the finite automata now let us see about production rules production rules p is defined as here we have two rules first rule in the finite automata if the transition is of the form delta of qi comma a equal to qj so qi means current state a is input symbol qj is next state then the production rule is qi implies a qj if qj is not a final state so here let we have q not as the current state a is the input symbol on applying a on q not we are producing a state called q1 so now then we can write the production rule as qi produces u a qj so here q not on q not input symbol a is applied so now we are getting a state called q1 so we can write the production rule as q not produces a is the input symbol q1 is the next state so q not produces a q1 so when we can write that if qj is not the final state so that means if q1 is not the final state if q1 is the final state then what we have to do so that, let us see that here in the finite automata if the transition is of the form delta of qi comma a equal to qj just like the previous one only then the production rule is qi produces a qyz and additionally we have to write one more production that is qi produces a qi implies a when if qj is a final state so let us assume that now q1 is the final state so if if this is the final state if the next state is the final state then we have to introduce one more transition one more production rule what is that one q not implies a so q not implies simply we have to write the terminal symbol so that is the point here in the finite automata if the transition is of the form delta of qi comma a equal to qj then the production rule is qi produces a qz so we will get these two productions and qi produces a if qj is a final state so if if it is the final state then we will get two productions 
whereas if the next state is not the final state then we will get only one production now let us see with the help of an example now let's see this example a finite automata is given so for this finite automata we have to construct the equivalent regular grammar so we know that regular grammar is represented by four tuples g is equal to v comma t comma p comma s where v is nothing but the states of the finite automata so here the states are q0 q1 q2 q3 and t is nothing but uh, uh, terminals terminals are nothing but input alphabet symbols so here the symbols are a comma b next we will write the production slater and the starting symbol is Uh, let here uh, q0 is the initial state uh, before q0 we have yaro symbol so q0 is the initial state so here the starting symbol is nothing but uh, initial state of the finite automata now let us write the production rules production rules p so what is the first production so let us write q0 productions q0 produces so q0 on applying a goes to q2 so a q2 so this is one state here q2 is not the final state suppose if q2 is the final state then we have to introduce one more production q0 produces a but here q2 is not the final state next q0 on applying b goes to q3 on applying b goes to q3 q3 is not the final state so next let us write the transition for q1 so q1 implies q1 on applying a goes to q0 so q1 q1 a q0 and here q0 is not the final state so there is no need of any extra production next q1 on applying b goes to q1 but what is q1 q1 is the final state if it is the final state then we have to introduce one more production what is that production q1 produces simply write b there is no need to write the next state okay this is the only rule we have to follow if the next state is the final state then we need to introduce one more production so q1 implies b q1 implies b so next to first space constraints i am writing here so q1 productions are over next let us write q2 productions so q2 productions are on applying a goes to q0 q0 is not the final state next to q2 on applying b it will goes to q1 but what is q1 q1 is the final state if it is the final state then we have to introduce one more production so q2 produces implies b so q2 productions are also over so next one is uh, uh, next one is q3 productions so q3 on applying a goes to q2 which is not the final state next q3 on applying b goes to q3 on applying b goes to q3 and q3 is not the final state okay so there is no need of any extra transition so in this way we can easily construct a regular grammar from the uh, finite automata uh, please uh, like the video uh, please subscribe to the channel as well as uh, share with your friends please Thanks for watching.